decision boundary and logistic regression as we know the function of sigmoid function in logistic regression is equal to 1 by x 1 by 1 plus exponential in exponential of f of x so if we draw this then we get this kind of function so so from this function we we get some result for example at f of x f of x equal to 0 then h of h of x is equal to 0 0.5 so we can say when f of x is equal to 0 then h of x is is f of x is greater than or equal to 0 then h of x is greater than or equal to 0 h of x is greater than or equal to 0.5 so it gives us a result that y is equal to 1 so we have this boundary 1 or 0 and this is kind of threshold level so below then this threshold level we classify this as 0 but about that we classify that as 1 so so similarly we can say that when f of x is less than 0 then h of x is less than 0.5 for that we can say that y is equal to 0 so these are different conclusions we can derive from this function okay let's find some decision boundary of some example so for example we have an exam example where where there is a uh, two different kind of values zeros and crosses which are distributed this way so we need some kind of decision boundary
we need some kind of decision boundary which discriminate the these uh, uh, different kind of um, class classes so as we know that as we know that we have a hypothesis function of w0 plus w1x 1 plus w2 x2 so we suppose that w is a vector of w0 w1 and w2 which is equal to minus 3 1 1 so this is a supposition So when we put this so when we put this W in in this equation we get that f of x is equal to minus three plus x one plus x2 previously we have a hypothesis that from the sigmoid function that when f of x is greater than or equal to 0 then we get y is equal to 1 which is uh, a representation of a class so this function when we when we write this in When we write this in this format, f of x is greater than or equal to zero, so which which means that minus three plus x one plus x two is greater than or equal to zero. So from this, we can say that x1 plus x2 is greater than or equal to 3 so what this equation gives us this equation gives us a decision boundary when we plot this then then we get the decision boundary in that data so let's plot this uh, this equation so for example let x1 is equal then x2 is greater than or equal to 3 which is this point And similarly, when x2 is equal to 0, then x1 is greater than or equal to 3. So, which gives us this result. So, similarly, we will we put the value bit of x1 and x2 between 3 and 0 then we get this straight line so which which differentiate this uh, these two classes into um, into different uh, classes different part and saying that uh, it it actually discriminate the two the two different uh, 
classes so uh, the the uh, pattern on the right side of decision this decision model is equal to y and the pattern below this this line is equal uh, is actually equal to y is equal to 0 similarly so when we summarize this example for decision boundaries now this is a sigmoid function and we plot when we plot this at when f of x equal to 0 then the exponential the h of x function gives us the value of 0 0.5 and uh, the value greater uh, the value of f of f of x greater than 0 gives us y is equal to 1 and similarly the value less than 0 gives us the value of y is equal to 0 so we have a hypothesis that a function linear function when uh, when we write that f of x is equal to w0 plus w1 x1 plus w2 x2 when we suppose that the value of w0 w1 w2 are minus 3 1 1 respectively so when we put these values in this equation so we get uh, a linear equation from this linear equation we get the desired decision boundary so when we plot this the result of this equation we get this decision boundary so which classify the given data into two different parts or two different patterns similarly as we have another example where the data distribution is is given as where on the boundary the crosses are given on the boundary and the zeros are given inside of these crosses let the let the crosses are equal from the zero point so we need some kind of decision boundary which differentiate these two pattern so uh as we uh, explained previously when f of x is greater than or equal to 0 then h of x gives us the value of 0 0.5 and which gives us y is equal to 1 so now we uh, suppose that the since the function is similar to a kind of circle so we will uh, give this hypothesis function uh, near to that one or second order function so our hypothesis function is like this one So, so we suppose that the w vector is equal to w0, w1, w2, w3 and w4 
in the values of these weights is given as so w0 is equal to 1 w1 is equal to 0 w2 is equal to 0 w3 is equal to 1 and w4 is equal to 1 so when you put the weights in this function the f of x becomes minus 1 plus 0 x1 plus 0 x2 plus 1 x 1 square plus 1 x 2 square so our, our earliest assumption or conclusion from the sigmoid function is that y of when f of x is greater than or equal to 0 then it gives that h of x is greater than 0.5 and which gives us that y is equal to 1 so similar on the similar condition we we say that it gives a y is equal to 1 or y is equal to pass or uh, healthy or or uh, successful or the positive function uh, then f of x is greater than equal to zero which says that minus one plus zero x one plus zero x two plus x one square plus x two square is greater than or equal to zero so so it's says that if we uh, simplify this equation we get that x1 square plus x2 square is greater than or equal to 1 what this is very nice equation which gives which is related to the equation of circle so when we put the value of uh, x1 and x2 equation it gives this kind of circle of radius 1 So let's put this circle equation or circle plot in the in the in the plot which is required or the decision boundary required in this plot. So if you plot this function, this boundary which we have derived right now, then it gives the decision boundary required for this. So it actually classify y is equal to 1 here and y is equal to 0 inside the boundary which is a circle. So that's how we define or derive the boundary of uh, uh, decision boundary.